Y'all, welcome to another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. You know how we do. We always have the flyest guest, and this week is no exception. You've seen the title. You know who's going to be on the show. That's why y'all pushing. That's why y'all sitting there watching. But before I do bring the man up, uh, you know I got to read these comments y'all be leaving. But y'all be, some, oh, y'all be on some bullshit. I ain't going to lie, but y'all, y'all be on some bullshit. Let me see what this one is right here. Um, Jeff Warren. I don't know which one this one. Uh, I think this was one with, uh, oh, this was one when me and uh, I think George Wallace was on this one. Jeff Warren 4747 says, best channel on YouTube. I ain't got to read no more. Yeah, that's it right there. How y'all... <laughs> what did he say? Jeff, uh, he said, uh, I see new Pierre's Panic Rooms. I click. Oh, this is Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle is a gen- genuine, com- a genuine comic. Genuine comic. Okay, genuine comic. So many are secretly insecure and envious of each other as comics. Uh, who was funniest and who was more successful. I know that's right. That's real shit right there. That's how we get down sometimes. All right. This right here is from the George Wallace Show. Shout out to my man George Wallace. Always comes right. Um, this is D D D D D Dad D D Dad. Whatever nigga. Uh, 1796 says, Lord, both of these men in one room together. Jesus, I love it. I will never forget meeting Mr. Wallace. Um, the one time I met him, he was one of the nicest people. I know that's right. All right, that's cool. Well, what about when you meet me? I should be nice too, okay? All right, last one. This is on a Ralph Tresvent episode. Shout out to my man, Ralph Tresvent. Uh, she says, uh, all my NZ02 says, I love how Ralph Tresvent stayed cool and true to himself, even when Pierre was trying to be messy. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck. I want you to ask the question, man. Come on, girl, man. Fuck. I don't respect you anyway. You ain't no picture on your page. You know, shit. I don't believe you. It's a bot. You a bot. You a thought bot. Okay? That's what you is, bitch. Okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we go, man. I'm excited about having this brother, man. This man, uh, I'm going to say this right now. This mommy, he got more movies than Denzel Washington. More movies than Sam Jackson. Okay, you, you turn on Tubi, it ain't even gonna be called Tubi no more. It's gonna be called Ubi. It's you when I'm talking to him. Um, very funny, uh, very talented individual, man. Y'all know him from Notorious B.I.G. and some other stuff, man. Give it up for the one and only Mr. Jamal. What up? Brother, you're here. Look at you looking flossy and smooth. Look at that <laughs> bling, 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 <laughs> bling. Just chilling. Yeah, just chilling. That's all you're doing. Just chilling. Just That's chilling. what we're going to do. Tubi doing good, good. <laughs> Tubi doing right, right. Look at that, yeah. boy. Shit. They cool. They cool, man. They, they cool. You. Tubi cool. Well, you in every damn. We're going to talk about that. You on every damn Tubi movie, man. Shit. Let, let's do I I can do I got to go back a little bit so people can get to know who you were and how you kind of came up. Um, I see it said it came up in, it's kind of weird. It says Benson Hearst. Lafayette Gardens and then uh, Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn is Lafayette Garden in Brooklyn. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what happened? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shit, remember he's yelling out shit out of nowhere. Yeah, 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 them from Lafayette Garden. You remember what I'm talking about? Oh, you talking about my man World? Yeah, World and all them. Yes, yeah, and his yeah, brother yeah, and all them. Yeah, Wise. Yeah. Wise. That's my family. Yeah, you grew up around there? That's my family. That's Ooh-wee. my family. Wee. That's some good guys, man. That's some good guys. Yeah. It's funny when some people say that because I grew up in D.C. around the time that the era, the drug era, was mm-hmm. you know we had Ray Fall and all them folks and shit. And there's people who knew them would say good things about them, and of course the outside world would say n- negative things about right. them. Right. What w- with you knowing what they've done? How do you justify them being good people if that's Well, what I don't know. I don't know them for what they've done, but I okay. know for, for who they were. Okay. I okay. grew up with World. Okay. Went to the same um, public schools and junior mm-hmm. high schools mm-hmm. with my man Fruit Kwan, who just came home. Shout out to Fruit. Okay. He got a podcast now, too. Shout out to him. Um, shout out to Nut. Shout right. out to the whole LG. You know what I'm saying? That's my heart. That's where I started from. Right. right. So uh, when you grow up with somebody, you don't know them like, you know, what they turn into. Okay. Not saying what they did was wrong or right. Right. Just, you know, everybody has a choice to make. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Life and we all make choices. Well, did you ever choose something similar to that and just backed out of it or you never chose nothing like that? <sighs> Me, I was playing ball, man. I okay. was I wasn't into what they was into at that time. Like everybody okay. respected me for being gravy just playing basketball. Like that's great. Gravy ain't you know what I mean? He ain't right. trying to hit the block. Right. He ain't trying to sell no rock. He ain't right. trying to 
you know what I mean? Great was just rap and mm -hmm. play ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What was your family structure? You had your mom, dad in the house, brother, my sister? Moms, my moms, my pops. My pops was around every now and then, and then okay. me and my moms was my right hand. Right. Um, and you know, that was that was it, but I was always in the street. You know what I'm saying? I was in the street about 10 years old running right. the street. Now you went off the you know porch I mean? quick, boy. You hopped off the porch early. This was false. It was false. You know what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. moms did drugs. My pops did drugs. You know what I'm mm. saying? Moms did crack. Pops did dope. I mean, the same old story. Right, 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 trying, right, right. You know, bore you with it, but. But no, 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 not, not that. Same no. old story. It, it makes who you are. But my point is this. How do you not get involved and, you know, go down a bad situation? Because you, you learn from that experience. Okay. You know, people be like, yo, why you don't smoke? Why you right. don't drink? Because well, you've seen I, it first. I've yeah. seen it on both sides of my family, so I don't want no parts of none of that. Right, right. I mean, that's you know interesting. I mean? That's yeah, interesting. I don't want to do none of that shit, man. So, so you play ball. Did you have an opportunity to play? Like, how far did you get to go and play in ball? Shit, man. Um, you playing the Rutgers? I should have went. Yeah, I played I play ball in Rutgers. Okay, I played so play high school. energy. I played. My era was uh, Sham Gar Wells, uh, uh, Eddie Coda, um, Stephon Marbury. Oh, so, okay, okay. Oh, okay. for sure. Um, the McDonald Classics, High yeah, Energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it was just, it was all, you know, Felipe Lopez. Felipe, yeah, okay. Reed, I mean, you know, I mean, like okay. when ball was something. Was, um, um, well, what high school did you go to? Utrick. Utrick. No, Utrick, yep, it was did in Benson Hurst. Did they have, Benson Hurst, wasn't a lot, wasn't a lot of mafia in Benson Hurst? Yeah, that was, that was when the Yusuf Hawkins, um, young you man died. Ran, ran yeah. across the street and right, they chased him all right. that in Benson Hurst. I'm the only black one and living in that joint while they marching. Really? Yeah. They ain't really want black folks around there. I nah. just seen an old video. They it wasn't like, all racist, though. I had I mean, a lot what, of good one house? Italian friends. Nah, a lot of them wasn't, you know, they <laughs> really? accepted. See, it's funny how, you know, they used to have the mob guys sit outside in front okay. of the cafe. Right, sure. And they respect me and my moms, but they didn't respect others. I mean, that's just, that's life, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, because Mr. Hurst, when I heard about it, cause what, Sammy Garano, I think, was around there, too. It was, it yeah, was yeah, 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 it was they had some real killers out there. Well, they, but one thing about the mafia, I felt like they kept it in t to each other. They didn't really spread out. It, it was correct? just funny, man. They'd be like, yo, Jamal, come in. You know what I mean? Right. Just hang out and cool ain't do the nigga shit with me. Right, right, right. But right. when they came with the other stuff, right. you know what I mean? When Al Sharpman and them came and shit, then they did it. You know what I mean? Right, right. Made, made they never made movement. me feel like that, so okay. I can't even... You know what I mean? All right, all right, I can feel that. I, I, I understand that. I'm inside the house eating lasagna, my man. Like, so how, how can I even feel the way, like, yeah, you feel man. me? I was just stuck. But you can't be blind, blind to the ways of mankind, bro. Man, listen. You got to, you know, come on, do, you got you know, eyeballs. You only, yeah, but you can only choose for those who do wicked to you. You see what I'm okay. saying? Like, if I, if I just down, met you, down. right, uh -huh. I'm chilling with P and I'm uh -huh. hanging out. I'm hanging out with one of your mans. You tell me he your man. Okay. Right? Because I'm a street dude. This okay. shit happen all the time. Okay. You say he your man. I meet him. That's your man. He dogging you when I get with next to him. He like, yo, you like, yo, it's my nigga Big Gravy. You know, he play big in the movie. Right. Biggie the out, whatever. He like, yo, you know, I don't really fuck my homie like that. I don't be talking too much of shit. I really was trying to get to you. I oh, see. So yeah. what I do is I'm gonna tell you your man ain't your man. Right. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Sure. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. happens every day, yeah. all day. I had one time a, a promoter, I went on stage, I did something on stage, and this guy worked for the promoter, ran behind him, and ran down to the office, and it was a theater, and told him about me, was saying I was fucked up on stage, I was talking about some religious shit. And I went, I went down there, after I brought the comic, I was emceeing, I brought the comic up, I went downstairs to go see the dude, because I had to get the rest of my money. Mm -hmm. And Andy was so cool, he said, yo, the dude was there, and he was a promoter. I walked in the door, he said, hey, yo, tell him what you just told me about him. I said, damn, that motherfucker, like, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're a wild boy, you're a wild boy. Right, right. I was yeah. like, I like you, I fucks with you, promoter. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to keep Call that circle. motherfucker right out, right in front of everybody. Yeah. Keep Tell him now what tight. you just told me. Yeah, you got to keep your circle tight. Oh, yeah, I said, I, and, that, and, and I used to hang out with the dude a little bit, you know, yeah. after some shows, we, I did some shows, I said, snakes, I, I, I get it. Sideways shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, just knucklehead shit. So coming up in Brooklyn, man, you know, Hip hop. I mean, you heard it all day long. You yeah. saw, you saw the life. Growing up, what were some of the artists that you was fucking with that you said, man, looking Shit, forward to? I was to? Big Daddy Kane, man. Big, oh, well, you were lyricist, man. man. Come on now. Big Daddy Kane was my guy. It was yeah. between Big Daddy Kane, um, Karis One, and Rakim at the time. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's 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 the format. Damn, I had, I had. I had you I had, had to have Rakim. I had Snow. I had Kwame. And Vanilla Ice. Oh, you tripping. What, what the fuck? Where, I, where I can't like that. My, my house. I got, oh, I got my mother white. Okay, all right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. let, me, let me do this, man. All right. <laughs> nah, I'm with it. You got Eminem, though. 
<laughs> you know, yeah. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking I'm with like, you. What? Nah, hell no. Nah, I, I, mean, I remember when, um, when Rockem came on the, on the block, a beast. man. A beast. I mean, every car going down the street, you heard, heard that yeah, first album. Yeah, yeah. EPMD, every show. Yeah, come on, come on, man. Come on. LL. Everybody was a beast. How, then, 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 then how you survive in this, today's rap game when you hear stuff, man? You must burn I your ears. I love it all. So, nah, what? It's all good music. It ain't really mumble rap like Mother that. Of the Some of them niggas be snapping. Of the zippers. Matter of fact, you know what? What? R.I.P. to one of the greatest that was, that was, that was really snapping. Take off. Oh, yeah. I gotta yeah, say that. Yeah, that yeah. Lyrics super. Yeah, yeah. If you really listen to what he was saying, oh, he was that guy, that group. You know who I like, but I just like the tone and I like the beat sometimes, but I don't know what the hell he's saying. Kodak Black. Oh, okay. Who's uh, okay. Kodak, 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 Kodak Black is dope. Kodak yeah. Black is dope. Okay. Right. Little Baby got the game on Smash. Shout out to Little Baby. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, it's hard to, not saying you're not saying true, it's hard to believe you like these new dudes when you, talk, you just talked about some lyricists, some dope lyricists back in the yeah. day. They be snapping, they be having lyrics. Cause I grew up with Poe Righteous Teachers. Okay. Yeah, come you, you on, man. Righteous lyrics. What? I mean, Nas is the uh, best poet there is. Nas is they the best. They say that. They say that. I mean, Nas is the best, man. I mean, you can't even. Really? Do with Nas. Nas been doing this since yeah. forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Got to yeah. give him his flowers. Yeah. Who's some of Who's some of the people people be surprised that you liked in hip hop? In hip hop. A lot of people be, you know, they funny with my choices because I'm an underdog. Right. Okay. So you know automatic MCs, automatic like, MCs. Uh, my MCs is mm -hmm. be like, you know, like I love Fat Joe. Fat Joe, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Jealous ones, Envy, Fat Joe. Right. Uh, I'm an underdog. I like, I like all the underdog dudes. I'm a Jada. You know what I mean? I'm with Jada right. Kiss. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I fuck with Fab, hometown. Right. Oh, Fab. He's one of the most hoes. underrated lyricists now. Fab has Fab some nice stuff. Fire. What? Every soul tape he ever put out yeah, is fire. Yeah, I got to give him credit you know for that. I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. hoved out, of course. You know, Jay. Okay, okay, but that's that's expected yeah, though. That's Jay. That's just Jay, man. You know, you know how on this show, man. Mr. Cheeks, Lost Boys. Oh, yes, that's, that's dope. Yeah, yeah man. Them yeah, boys, yeah, is, yeah. boys is fire. Yeah, man. They came out with a uh -huh. whole new like little movement, them man. Them boys yeah, is fire. Yeah. So, so when did you start taking rap serious? Shit, man. I don't know, man. I used to go to high school and just beat on the table all day. Okay. Oh, come on now. Come on, Kick man. Kick my rhymes, you know what I mean? Right, People right. Like, yeah, this nigga don't go to class. Nigga only play ball. Them nigga don't want to do nothing else but rap, man. Right. That was just my, that's just was my hustle. What, what stopped your, your, your ball career? Um, not focus, not not oh, knowing man. that you had to go deep. You had to have the right schooling. Right. You got to get the right looks. Right. Nobody think about none of that that's shit. That's real. That's real. My nigga had just got the two way page on my hip. I'm ready to oh. beam my nigga. What oh, up? This is Damn. Really? Right. I ain't think about nothing but the beam. Hey, you want beam? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, just a young dude caught up in the street. Right. 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 R.I.P. to Chris Light, the best manager that ever was. A little bit violated, right? Yes. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, indeed. man. Yeah. Gave my first check. Damn, it's a shame. Bands. Really? Yeah, 30 bands. Ooh, wee. That was amazing to me at Violet that time. had a lot of good people. Buster, what? everybody. 19 Missy years and old shit. with 30 bands. First Super Bowl I ever took them to. What did you get 30 bands for? The Vance. Oh, for the, for the, for the yeah, album? Yeah, for okay. all of us. Me, Red Cafe, Q the Kid, the French Red Child. Cafe, man. That's my guy. I was doing this shit recently, man. Yeah. And Q the Kid, and then it, we went to um, Lau SRC. Shout out to Kevin Lowes, man. Mm -hmm. We went to Def Jam. Mm -hmm. We've been all over, man. We we really. We now y'all went as a group or in the individuals? As right? a group. What was the group called? The Franchise. The Franchise. Yeah, on the Violated Two album. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. With Ja Rule before Ja Rule was right. Ja Rule. That was our first record with Ja Rule. Yeah. Did did did, did, did people unwarrantedly <coughs> compare you to Biggie when you was coming up? Nah, I, no. I think I think I had too much gravy New York history as gravy. For people to be like, oh man, he, he like the gorilla right. black dude, or black, he's yeah, trying to be like Sean Poe, sound like big. Nah, I'm just me. Right. They just picked the right dude. You okay. Know what I mean? Okay. That's all that was. Now, Gravy's from ball playing, right? Gravy's from, yeah, Gravy came from the ball. Damn. And, 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 how, and, and how do we do Gravy? What's Gravy? What's Gravy? I can't imagine Gravy. It's just the, the handle. It's the handle. I was just smooth with my handle. So Gravy's smooth. So you no chunks in your Gravy? Nah, you know, nah, okay. ain't no lumpy shit yeah, over shit. here, I dog. Like, yeah, shit. I like yeah. little, 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 what do they call it? Mushrooms shit, smooth, and shit. Smooth, God, God okay. yeah. God damn. Okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unchunky Gravy over here. Yeah, okay, nah, okay. My That's shit what smooth, about. okay. <laughs> All right. So, with your, with your, okay, when you're rap, when you want to become a, a rapper. Um, right. You were, you were a rapper. Um, right. What? Did you do it? Did you do a solo? Yeah, you put a solo out. We there. went solo. Nah, we just did a bunch of mixtapes. Mixtapes. 
But me and Fendi had went solo. That's what, okay, okay. Yeah. So what is it about the business, man, that you, you, you want to tell a young cat that you learned that might be some pitfalls to be careful of, what they don't realize? All you got to do is believe in yourself nowadays. Okay. See, when we was coming up in, in the 90s, we ain't had none of this, this phone shit going on. True that. We ain't had no internet. Think, matter of fact, we had MySpace, my bad. Damn! That's all we had. MySpace, that's what we had. Well, people were coming up off MySpace. Yeah, we didn't have all this Facebook right, and Metal right. World and this one and Twitter and Thread. And right, right. Now, nah, we ain't got all them handles right. right now. You know what I mean? So all the handles that you got right now, if you use your phone wisely, you could be a superstar, man. Right. And cats nowadays can damn near produce something on their phone, damn near. Khaled. Khaled is, a, is, a, is a, a genius. He really Khaled is. Khaled took that phone and his image and his marketing plan to a whole nother level with the phone. Now, this is no slight to him, but it was funny. He's like... He's the most popular you know, nigga on the grid. But 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 I ain't gonna say he's not talented, but he just he no, his career talented. bigger than him, man. His he, know make, he, make, he know how to make some great records. When you say make, he actually produces Produce, the beat. He, he produce. He does. Yeah, he got a sound. He can hear. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, all, you he, know. He, remember, he was a DJ before anything else. Yeah, but, but a DJ, right. but that don't mean right. you could uh, play, you know. Well, you got to know how to keep the crowd rocking. You can't just get up there. Yeah, but you can do that off of other people's right. beats, though. Right, but he make his own. He create his own. Oh, stuff so I didn't too. know that, though. Yeah, he create his own. He got an ear for music. I mean, I, I went to the studio with Dr. J, Dr. Dre one time, and he had a bass player, like a live mm. bass player sitting there, mm. and he was like doing shit. He's hitting the dudes, hitting the bass and shit, and, 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 and Dre was every button and shit. Bing, bop, boop, bing. I was like, damn, rewind yeah, this stuff. See, Dre, that's a different level. That's, that, that's, that's a technician. That's, okay. That's, that's okay. like, yeah, it was ain't wild. Nobody bigger than Dre, man. It was wild. Maybe, maybe like I was just talking to somebody, like, yo, who the biggest person you think in the world on, on outside of the culture? I said, right. Snoop Dogg. Okay, I can see that. Nobody bigger than Snoop unless you're gonna go that. Hove, but Hove is quiet. That. Right. But if you're gonna go top right now, nobody. Come on, man. And, yo, and you, listen, Snoop Crippin with some sketches on. I, damn. You can't do it no yeah, bigger yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. Yeah. With Martha Stewart. Come on. One thing I like, I, I said that too. He's probably the biggest. The biggest. Of, of, Absolutely. Of all, because he Snoop is transcended Dog, just being home. a rapper. I love you know what I'm saying? Yeah, He's been in listen. movies, TV shows. You can't do it like. He hosted a porno one you can't time. Can't do it like Snoop. That was a good. Yeah, yeah for damn sure. He did a porno. He hosted a porno. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one too. I got about four jerks off that mother. Oh, she was good as fuck, man. Great. My man, my man. Okay, I'm, just, I'm saying the quality was good. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he know how to talk his way in and out, but he know. Yeah. But but, well, but yeah, no, I, um, say, I say Snoop. And then Snoop, I'll, I'll agree. I agree with you. Yeah, I say I'll Snoop, and then I go Hov. Yeah, yeah. You think? Uh, uh, yeah. Hov for the culture, because at the end of the day, his record is just it's, it's like if he's telling you something, mm -hmm. and it's actually. It's actually happening as he's telling you, mm. and he's always right with it. It's hard to right, do, bro. Right, it's, that's, right. that's it's impossible to do. That's why when people had that little that little trend, you rather sit down, have a meeting with Hov, and take the five hundred. I'm gonna take the meat. The really? The meat can get me way more than five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Way but. more, especially in our position, me and you as actors, and what we right. do and everything else. You don't know what Hov might do with that one phone call to Rock Nation. To that one book and that changed our life. Because he made that call, call the right people, me and you on well, fire. Hold on. You, that he, one we, phone call. But we said a meeting. We didn't say he's gonna do something after the meeting. We ain't gonna guarantee that's, you that's gonna have a nice you. conversation. That's on you. When you step oh, in the room, that. don't gotta, do that. You gotta come on. You you had a meeting with Hove and nothing happened, that's on you. But like like, but you know, I hear the money situation. But even Hove said he'll take the five hundred thousand, man. That's because he don't he don't wanna take he don't have the time to oh. take to invest in you to break you if you ain't a brand. Mm, mm. He didn't say that anybody he can break. He just said that, you know what I mean? He, it's, okay. it's an option. And first of all, he didn't say it, but that's just what it was. Right. I take the meeting because I know my brand is official enough for him to make one call to better my situation. Ooh. Yeah, but you're in a different light like than most average right. people. You're right. Some yeah, people are dif yeah. in different levels. Yeah, some people better take it's that. It's not like he said, out. I'm going to take Joe Smo and make him pop. Right. You know what I mean? He didn't say all that. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah. But I don't know. I, then you got to think about time gonna, and energy. A man sitting on 2.5 billion. Wife just made 575, 575 million for how many shows? 55. Yeah. Like yo, my bro, I I ain't really, and I'ma respect you. I'm not even trying to holler at you. I can't talk your language. I ain't never seen them type of zeros for me to even sit right. there and try to talk your type of language. Right, right, right. Oh, so okay. I'ma let you be. Okay. Well, 
I I'm going to take that 500000 <laughs> Damn that. Okay, damn Jay-Z. Okay. But I feel you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make this the, work. I'll take the meeting in the Rock, in the, in the right. rock Nation group. Right. I know, you know that's right. I yeah, know. I'm going to take that. You're a smarter man than me. That's like nah, right I just now. know they got that position of power. Okay, okay. So you were coming up in New York, right. doing the rap thing, doing the movie thing. Dirty Money, Fendi. Right, yep. right. right. Mm-hmm. And then that little bullshit incident at Hot 97. And why the fuck they banned you? They ain't banned other people. No, nah, they thought it was um, they thought it was a, a nigga trying to get hot. Really? That's why. Yeah, they, I mean, Fifty had just got shot. Right, other Fifty get shot. Uh, little Kim and Nori and them was beefing. Right, Kim, right. So right. everybody thinking that you know getting shot right now is the way to live. You know, get hot. That wasn't the, the case. Right, sure. Of course not. That wasn't the case. But um, but they know. still banned your music. They ain't banned yeah, I mean, you can't ban me. I wasn't even out yet, nigga. Well, well, they <laughs> they said banned they me, nigga. Like, I'm, I'm hot in the street. I ain't hot on the radio. It was a future so what band. You okay? It was a, it was yeah, a band yeah. in the future. Okay, shit. cool. I come back as big. Now what? Right, right. Did, did it hurt or help you, the whole scenario? Um, I, I, I could say God just, just it make things happen. Like, okay. the way I look at it is I wanted to be the biggest rapper that ever was. Just right. like any other rapper want to be that. But I wanted to plan them. So I can't, mm. you know, I can't say anything else. Right. Like I wanted to be what I played, but right, God said, "Don't sweat that. I'm gonna give you something bigger and better." Nice, I'm nice. You play big, nigga. There you That's go. it. Three you times. Go. Uh, uh, Matter of fact, four times. Uh, hold up, now. I know you two. only got one that with the dude that did the uh, unsolved. No oh, disrespect to him, right, but right. he can't walk with these shoes. No, sir, these 14s, no, my nigga. Like, really? That's what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't uh, do that. How'd you get the big part, though? Um, just Puff, man. Puff, Mark Pitts, um, Wayne Barrows. You auditioned or they called you, called you in? No, I worked for it. Nice. I worked for it, but they, really? put the, they, they pulled the, the strings they need to pull them. It's Wallace, you know, yeah. felt like that, that was the You killed it, love. man. You killed it, I dude. appreciate that. I had for to. Real. From for Brooklyn, real. From Brooklyn, you know, messed that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, you <coughs> killed that. Was there any preparation you had to do that you, you know? Hell yeah, did? we did voice dialect. We, I studied at Juilliard. Really? Um, nice. worked with Kate Wilson. We did um, holding your tongue, doing the alphabet. We did on the floor. Mannerisms. We did. I mean, we did a million things. Uh, shout out to D Angeletti, the breathing patterns, the vocal training. I mean, we did a million things, man, to make that that movie pop. Wow. Yeah, wow. we did a Biggie boot camp for like six months. So shout out to Wayne Barrows, Mark Pitts, and Puff forever, man. It's all all love, man. Really? Right? Yeah. Damn, they, they, yeah. Well, well, you know, that that was Puff was behind that. That was like his his thing, you know. That's that was his baby. Yeah, that was his baby. Shit, yeah, you know, you know that. Like, um, Obviously, you, you never met met Big before, did you? No, nah, I never met. Never Big. met. Uh-huh. Nah. What did you learn about him doing the research that you didn't know about him beforehand? Um, I had my pros and cons list. Okay. Of things that were, were were similar, like. Okay. So when it came to females and things like that, that was easy. Swag, Brooklyn, Brooklyn niggas, we Brooklyn niggas. You know, okay. I mean, it's like a Detroit nigga, Detroit nigga, Philly nigga. That was easy. Right. The slang was easy. Um, right. But the Jamaican part, the Jamaican part was different. Okay. Because he had an anger, a different anger than I, I had. But he was Jamaican, so that was that was that was only mm-hmm. con mm-hmm. that I had to tap into more. Right. You know. You know. As I was living, I lived there in that time. It was, you know, I was in L.A., so you know, I could hear it and all that. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. The night he got shot, I went to a place called the Comedy Store on Sunset, mm-hmm. and I, I lived in Fair, I, I lived mm-hmm. on Fairfax and La Brea. Which is right past the P- Peterson. I, know exactly I just went where to at. the okay. There you know, you know what it is. I went to the Peter. There's a Vons right there now. There's a Peterson uh, Museum. You cross the street from the Marjorie on. No, no, no. That no, comedy no. right there. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. That's where I performed at. Okay. But I drove home okay. and I had to pass the Peterson because I, I live pa- right past mm-hmm. a couple blocks past the Peterson. And I had just went to the Peterson um, at the time I was married, my ex-wife, looking at some old-fashioned cars. And so as I'm driving by, I'm like, "Why are these black people coming out of the Peterson? This is old fucking." You know, old cars and shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't know where a party would be at. I remember seeing all the you know people coming out. You know, mm-hmm. black people coming out. So I drove home, went to sleep, woke up the next morning. I was talking to a white friend of mine who was the director, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And some out of nowhere, I was like, yeah, Biggie. I think he might have been. I knew he was in town or something. Like, he was mm-hmm. in town. He's like, yeah, he just got shot because mm-hmm. it came through a ticker tape of um, MTV to hit at his house. Mm-hmm. You know, I went. I said, man, go on that. You know, like, still don't, don't make no joke like that. Whatever, man, you crazy? Mm-hmm. He said, no, just said he got shot. I said, what? And I went in the news and looked at it, I said, wow, I just drove past that place. Yeah, that's crazy. That's where that shit happened. Yeah. Um, it killed a big vibe. And one thing I like about him, I, I could say real quick, is um, I felt like he really didn't want no beef. 
you know, he could rap about shit and this, right. that, and the other. Because when Pac and all would bring that extra energy to him, he was like, man, let's not, I don't want that, man. Right. We're not going to retaliate, whatever. I was surprised about that. I thought he was right. a Brooklyn nigga, times, like, I'm ready to at, blast and blow, blow up, blah, blah, right. blah. But no, like, at no. times, people know what's really going on. Okay. And they don't want to put other people or incriminate other people by saying mm-hmm. other people's name. You know, when we came up in the 90s, you don't snitch, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We don't even fuck with phones, you feel me? Okay. So all these new niggas fucking with phones, showing how many guns they got, putting it on the phone. That's whack. We never did that. Mm. We would always hide whatever we had going on. Right, right, you know what I mean? right. So right, we right, just sure. had great morals and standards that we don't, we don't. Yeah. Know I mean? And then niggas who get money ain't thinking about fighting. Like, I know that's right. Last time you seen mm. a nigga sitting on a hundred million, I'm about to punch you in your face. Like, come, come on, on now. nigga. Like, no, no, that's 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 real. That's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Niggas who get money ain't fighting. Right, what you, what right. You doing? It, really what it is, and I've been around people with entourage. Broke it's, niggas want to fight. It's some niggas in your entourage <laughs> that want to prove something to you. Broke niggas want to fight, man. You be like, man, you fucking this whole, you, you fucking the money hey, up, bro. Man. Calm that <laughs> right. shit down. Right. Snatching on girls. Like, right. Somebody you take your boys out of Brooklyn, you take them to Minnesota to a concert, a couple of them don't know how to act. Yeah, they don't. You're like, you about to fuck the money up, bro. Right. You can't, we can't do this. Yeah, mess up the money. Yeah, right. man. Yeah, yeah. And I think he was, he, I think he was, one thing I liked about him, too, was he was a good leader of his crew. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. I thought he was a real good leader right. saying, don't do that. Let's move here. Let's move there. And they let's listened get to, to him the and bed. stuff. Right. right. Let's get to the bed. Right, right, right. And that whole thing, think about it. We lost two greats over some real bu- bullshit. Right. Yeah, uh, really unnecessary shit. By you the know. other niggas. Yes. Unnecessary. Not them two. It's the other ones that was the middle man. Right. The middle I'm, man be the problem. I'm gonna tell you a story. So Pac had me do a video with him when he got out of jail. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize that he was out on bail, so he, you know, he wasn't free totally. He was gonna have to go back to jail if, it didn't, if, if his case didn't you know, work out for him. That's why Suge had him do all these movies and videos and records, mm-hmm. so he'd have a career, like you know, a long career. Right. So he had to do four or five years. He would have music coming out, you know, you know, right. you get what I'm saying. So he was working him to death. And so I'm in the um, trailer, in my trailer, we did a we did a video called. Um, all about you. Every little city mm. we go, mm. and every little see video the right. we see. The, so I was the main kind of character besides him in the mm-hmm. video. So um, one reason I asked, I said, "Why'd you pick me?" I, you know, agency called me. I was like, "Oh," he said, "I saw you on Comedy View. You funny as hell. So yeah, I want to bring you right. in." He had Chris Tucker and California Love mm-hmm. and all that right at the same time. So um, I, uh, I, I'm in my trailer. And he comes in my trailer, you know, and we sit there and we start talking. And I, and I saw the. Some of the clips that he was doing, some of the stuff, and he had like a suit on and leather. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no thuggish stuff, right? So I'm mm-hmm. wondering, like, you know, you got a suit on in the video, a little vest and stuff. Wasn't a thug look. And I'm sitting there asking him. I said, well, you know, why aren't you like, you know, like, like rocking the Tims and the, and the hoodie and all that kind of stuff? And this is what he told me. And I always remember this. He said, P. He said, man, I'm so tired of this East Coast West Coast bullshit, man. He said, I'm, just, I'm tired, man. I want to change my image. You know, I'm just ready to change my image. Mm-hmm. True story. So he, that's why he had kids in the video and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And uh, Suge didn't like that. I'm gonna tell you right now, Suge mm-hmm. did not want that shit. He wanted that beef to keep going and so right. forth. And um, I was like, why? Because he know I'm from the East Coast, I'm from Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, blah blah blah. He was like, yeah, man, I'm just tired of it, blah blah blah. And let it go. And you know, mm-hmm. they called him on set and he fin- finished it. But I always remember him telling me he was tired right. of the East Coast West Coast shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wow, right. a lot of people don't know that. And then here, the crazy thing, hit him up came out like a week, two weeks later. Mm-hmm. He probably had recorded already, you know, a right. while back. But right. I was like, hold up, you just said you were tired of the East Coast West Coast yeah. shit. And that shit was flamed, man. That shit was right. flamed, man. You yeah, know, a lot so. Of yeah, yeah. So how have you circumvented yourself being in the streets, being around, not getting caught up in that bullshit? And you've been around some stuff now. No, I've been around shit, a lot of shit. It's just, you know, you got to have your way of, as a person, everybody know I'm solid. I don't care if you, if you ask Busta Rhyme, Fat Joe, you know, whoever you ask about me in the industry, and tell you, you know, he's solid. Right, right, right. I'm always solid. It's always gravy. I'm well, always well, solid. I remember a little a while back, there was a DVD came out. He was trying to clown you on that. I think you were... Oh, yeah, you're going to get haters. You're yeah, gonna get haters. and your cousin. What the fuck oh, your cousin? What's your cousin? What the yeah, fuck? You're you going to get haters. What was that you're about? Get, Why would he do that? Young nigga going through pressure. You know what I mean? Like, you got to remember, me, me, me coming up in LG, man, me, Fruit, Bailey, JR Brothers, I mean, we, we the streets was on fire. Right. So now when you get a, a my, my first cousin, and we cool, I know right. it would turn over to something else. Good, I, I was, good. laughed at it. But, um... What's the worst that can happen? Like, you my cousin, you my 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 aunt's son. Okay. How far this beef gonna go? Right, sure, me sure. Y'all gonna mom. see like, each other, right? Stop. Right, right, you right, know what I mean? Right. But I also know that you gotta go home every day to the projects. I'm out the projects. I'm out the hood. So you gotta go home every day. 
So you got to see the same, same niggas, niggas that ain't, right, right. you know what I mean, on your back. Come unless on, you man, unless you handle your business. Right. Same shit you popping to me, you need to be popping to them. Because if I'm your cousin, I'm your blood, you need to be telling them, get the fuck out of here. I ain't going my cousin for you, sucking nigga. There you, you need go. to stand right. up. Uh, okay. But now they turned on you. Now they mad at you. So now you calling me to fix the problem. Wow. You see what I'm saying? See, right. half the time if I, if I wore a, a, a cam, a vest cam, like mm-hmm. the police, right, 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 when right. they stop a nigga, right, right, right. if I wore a vest cam for every nigga that said or hated on me, as gravy, this, gravy, that, he think he, you was the same nigga that came to me that wanted a song done, a hook done, wanted to hang out with, yeah, from, yeah. wanted to be with, from anybody. It could be Uncle Murder, it could be May, it could be Mayno, it could be anybody. Everybody did a song with me, everybody done fuck with me at one time or another. Wow, wow, so know. it's funny how at one time or another, right. now you hate me. You can say what you want to say. But the truth, we and you know the truth. Right, right. You understand? Right. As long as I know that, if I can see anybody that got a problem with me and I see them one-on-one and me and you know what's right. happening, mm-hmm. I'm cool. I ain't really here trying to make a make a, make a a thing out of it. Right. I don't get no, you know what I mean? I'm a real nigga. I don't get no points for that. Right, right, You're going right. to do what you're going to do. Take my chain. Beat me, Do You ain't never put your hands on gravy. You put your hands on C's. You put your hands on other niggas. You ain't never put your hand on me. So until you put your hand on me, then you can pop all the gravy shit, right, lyric, whatever you want right, to do. Right, right, right. Because right. real niggas like us in the 90s, we respect real beef. I know real right. beef is mm-hmm. not going to sleep at night. Real beef mm-hmm. is the scoots, the tuts, mm-hmm. the peas, the real killers that was doing it at that time. You pump faking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you niggas want to get out here and pump fake, keep pump faking. But I really right. just be protecting niggas and respecting their right. lives. Right. Because my niggas ain't really trying to play like that. And I'm not trying to play like that neither. Right, right. No, no, that's real. That's real. You know what's crazy too is like back in the days when I was coming up with hip hop, I felt like rappers were trying to emulate gangsters. You know, they try to. Right, they right, ain't right, don't right, shoot them, man. They man right. the one popping something. But what's crazy now, I feel like gang members are rapping now. These little young Now boys, it's a little different. Hell yeah. <laughs> Now it's a little different. What's up with that? I mean, it's like, yeah, come yeah, on, man. The street know. nigga's rapping now. The nigga that was pop, he got tired. He got tired okay. of holding this bum ass nigga right, there. Right, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one doing the shooting. Yeah, I'm yeah, the one yeah. going to jail. So, I, yeah, yeah. so look, I should be the one getting the check. Yeah, so some of them cats, I'm like, what the? They even tell on themselves, man. Yeah, it's all, just, all, all the fans got to do now is listen to a rac- man, your fucking hey, record and song. Uh, yeah, man. Listen, Expose yourself. That's some get bullshit. Get some money, man. Get some real money, man. Right. Have some fun. Live your life and get some real money. Right. You ain't right. making no money dissing a nigga, my right. nigga. That's right. corny. And I'm then you just right. showing our youth that that's that's the way to go. Right. You know, right. I went to Memphis, and Lord, let me tell you, I'd have been a lot of places, but Memphis is serious business. Orange Shout Mountain. out to my man Krim. Yeah, they showed me the game in Memphis. Memphis ain't nothing to fuck with, man. Ooh. Them yeah. niggas is busting, yeah. killing, yeah. shooting. Yeah. Them niggas, them, why I'm in the trunk? Them niggas are serious. No, no, no. no I've been in Lafayette. Yet. I've been to Memphis. I've been a lot of places, but that that Memphis, that's yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, out there yeah. about two, three weeks, and I had a great time. That's the crazy part. I had mm. an amazing time with the ignorant ass niggas, mm. but I still had an amazing time. So, time, so, so sometimes it's just the moral stories. It's about you and what God got to. Thing for you, like you remember Big and Pac embraced. Mm-hmm. 50 and Jay don't embrace. Mm-hmm. You know, they got security and you know, they, mm-hmm. they, ain't, they ain't embracing all that stuff. That's shit. real. I'm still an embrace. I ain't really with the security and all that. I, I don't believe in that. I believe God has a bigger plan for me to move the way I move. I'm in every circle, I'm in every right. hood that you can think of. That's funny you say that too. I mean, it makes me think of some I've done a couple of times. I've been at clubs in different cities or whatever. Right. And you got them niggas in the corner, you know, on, on, in the club staring you down, whatever. But mm-hmm. I walk right up to them. What's up, play? How y'all doing, That's bro? How I am. Love. That's all they want to see is that that you if ain't going to walk. LA, right. If I'm in LA, I'm going to go shout out all the homies. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Ain't no check in, ain't no extortion, ain't nothing. When I hit Houston, I'm hitting Jay Prince. Hey, boom, I'm here, I'm in the city. He's going to come, he's going to escort me, he's going to keep me, keep me polished the way right. I need to be polished. And we're going to keep it moving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm L.A., I'm going to see Big U, I'm going to see Term, I'm going to see BD. I'm going to see the streets. You, 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 you got to stay in tune to the streets. Only place I've never been is Oakland, Bay Area, or whatever that well, be. But if I ever do go, I'm right. trying to see 40 Like, yo, my nigga, what's up? 
I'm I mean, not saying nothing wrong with that, but let me You ask don't want to move around. You don't know what's going on. I know. Hold on, hold on. But let's say like like a Jay. Jay don't fuck with the streets no more. What you mean? He ain't in the streets like that. Who you talking about? Jay. Uh, Hove? Uh, yeah, Hove. Yeah, but I mean, if you get to that point. Well, well, are well, you trying to get to that us, point? Yeah, but how many of us is at that point? Well, okay, at that point, but he had to get uh, to that point. Yeah, but how many of us is at that point? When you gonna get to that point? You name another black nigga that could go 2.5 billion right off the top of your head. Kanye. Can't do it. Kanye. I mean, not, yeah, but that's, that's, that's super rare. I'm talking about somebody you know right off your head, like if it's common. Common, just common. It ain't common like that to hit us yeah, as 2.5 yeah, yeah. billion. And I ain't saying in the wrong being in the streets, but you got to be, be careful, brother. Yeah, you got to be careful. You know careful. what I'm saying? You got to be careful. There's some wolves out there like that bling, bling, that bling, you bling. Be, it you shit. know what? You know what? I'm going to keep it 100. Okay. A lot of times, okay. my shit never come off and I'm everywhere. But let me tell you something. It's about how you handle yourself. Okay. I a, lot you. of, a lot of niggas ain't, ain't on that type of time. You might do something to piss a nigga off. Right. Because some niggas ain't on that type of time. Right. It's just when you come with all that... Ha ha! Right. You know, you come right. with that arrogant. Right. You know what I mean? I'm talking about that sure. Dame Dash arrogant. You right. come with that nigga, I'm I'm that shit causes a lot of problems with a lot of niggas. Right. Like you know you moving in certain hoods and you just pull out your shit, you got your shit all dripping down, right. hanging and shit like yeah. That that that's the energy, man. Mm -hmm. That's the energy. Man, Not really. saying tuck your shit, just saying don't, 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 you know what I mean? Right. You gotta know how to move. That's all I'm saying. Mm. You gotta know how to move. You don't have to always be tough guy. But it's funny, you got me feeling like a bitch ass nigga. I be having my diamonds nah, on concerts know. and shit. Listen, but man, when I finish performing, I would rather be a rich ass shit. bitch nigga than, than the sucker nigga. I tuck nigga. it, nigga. I put it in my pocket to watch and shit. You all that. I all that. Respect you for being you. No, no, no. That's some crazy motherfuckers from places I do. Like, nigga, I got time to be in the news and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you that. You gotta right. be You a big boy, man. okay? You know what I'm saying? You at 300. Hey, man. You're 280 now? What you doing? You look like 290. Woo! What, yeah. what was you at Biggie's weight? I mean, when you did Biggie, almost almost four, damn. four fifteen, six yeah, X. Yeah, I saw you come in. I was like, this, what the man? He don't like no damn Biggie. You don't like Biggie now? Yeah, nah, man. I had fun doing that. That was that was you know it was classic. Yeah, okay, you all right. Know, now you yeah. now I can't even go on Tubi without your face, man. I just you the Clifton Powell, the new you the thicker Clifton Powell. Hey, man, that's my that's my you that's my Clifton Powell right there. Clifton Powell the one that showed me the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He showed me the game. That's my guy, guy. But um, <laughs> it's just about work, man. I mean, nowadays it's just about work. I mean, people are losing losing the fact that they don't want to work and go out and do the labor. They rather work from home. Ever mm. since the pandemic, everybody okay. rather work. Shit, girl, I ain't going nowhere. Right. Shit, I'm a kid back, girl. Shit, get on this laptop, make me a few dollars. Right, right. You know what I mean? Nobody want to go to work. Right. You got to get out and get, get, get to work. Right, makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Sense. So as long sense. as I, could, I got an avenue like Tubi, of course, it's just it's, it's just... For our culture, come on now, it's helping us a come great deal. I just put three movies over Detroit there. Detroit is murdering too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my Detroit people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, just work. I'm, I'm just happy to be working. How, how, many, how many movies you done too, be? Shit, I got a lot of movies, man. We, we in at least a hundred this year right here. Nah, I'm not at a hundred yet. I'm close though. I'm probably about damn. About probably be sixty in about summertime. I'll probably be at sixty, something like that. Getting ready. Did Puffy, when Puffy helped you get ready for Biggie, that helped you in your acting game, didn't it? I mean, it had to. Yeah, oh, I, mean, I got to give the credit to Mark Pitts and okay. Wayne Barrows. Okay, the manager. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, Mark right. Pitts and Wayne Barrows. They really um, made that happen the way they was, and right. especially Miss Wilder. Shout out to the Queen right, Miss right, Wilder. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It was an honor to do that, to have leverage to do other things. I've never seen somebody play a, the same character in a couple of different movies, though. That was kind of strange. I mean, sometimes oh, I just I think, I think they're getting ready to mm -hmm. shoot something. I had got a phone call two days ago. They're getting ready to shoot a Suge Knight movie or a Death Row movie, doing the same thing again, you but be, in a different perspective. You know? Right. So I don't know if they you call might be sugar. me. You might, you might be if if they're smart, I mean, they, they smart they'll call me to do that. If they're not, Damn. then you know they're going to flop. Ooh. <laughs> That's just how I feel. That's how you feel. You That's biggie. That's my crap. You the, nah, you the nah, I'm not biggie. I'm me. I'm a, well, I'm small the baby Willa. The but I'm the best. I can give you the best. Biggie as an actor. I can give you the best, yeah. Feel the biggie. The presence of okay. that king man to do his thing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm nothing like big. Man, big was big. Did, 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 you, did you worry about becoming like, what's he called, stereotyped as him? Nah. I don't no. listen to that shit. Okay. I think somebody hate it when they tell you shit like that. Right. Like, yo, you just funny. 
Period. You just funny. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You'll never be nothing else but funny. Right. Yo, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because look at Vin Varane. Okay. He ain't never switched. Well, he switched one. Ooh. He switched one. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a hard roll. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's still about the craft. So you mean to tell me if somebody came to me right now and said, yo, great, man, I want you to play transgender for 20 million. Yeah, your phone, would, I knew it uh, would uh, ring uh, now, huh? Uh, God damn. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> they like, hold up. Cut the show. The nigga get ready going to him. It, it might be who it is. Hold on. Right. What, so, all right, so, okay, okay, hold on. You said 20 million to be transgender. 20 million. Right, right. So, hold on. Hold on. Let me get this shit. So, me, you, you wear a dress. Transgender. You wear a dress for 20 I'm million. Going, I'm an actor, man. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. The but. Fuck? But you also got to know this. Right, Brooklyn, man. You got you got to know this. You know about them contracts. I ain't got to physically kiss, touch. Oh hell anything. no! Right, right, sure. I can have a stand and come right. do all that. Right, sure, sure. So how but, am but, I? But, but street niggas don't like nobody wearing no but dress fuck though. All that, my nigga. We about to get to this paper. Oh, okay. So life, okay. life right okay. now for us and this generation is a lack of people understanding. Live your life. Right, right. People I don't care you. about life like they used to. Right, you real. Your real. man gets smoked today at the mall. You on your way to the basketball game, right. my nigga. Right, you right. I remember we used to mourn for two, three months for the right, nigga. Right, right. Right now, nigga, like, yo, Turtle my quick. nigga, hey, I'm going to meet you at, what's today, Sunday? Right. I'm going to meet you at Miski Whistress. Whiskey Mistress. And your boy just passed. So, yeah, my man yeah. just passed. All right, cool. What, yo, shorty got a fat ass. Right, right, right. See right. what I'm saying? I feel you. It's just the texture's different. I feel you. I feel you. Nobody cares. You think the streets would still embrace you if you did that? But they what? They told you when I do whatever I want to do. They can't. You can't. You when you come from the street, you don't have to prove to anybody what you're trying to I do like to that. be you. I like that. Shout out to I my like, nigga Dolph that right, I love so right, much. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. I like that. Like you man. ain't gotta prove to nobody that you gotta be who you are. Right. Sure. We all sure. the same. Right we all on. breathing the shit in the same way. That's some good. That's some good shit. Okay. I mean, it's just it's oh, just reality. I like that. I like that. I'm the same way. Stay humble. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna no nigga tell me what I can problem, do or not do. It's just the problem is when you humble now with the youth, they feel like that's the sucker nigga. Yeah, yeah. When he ain't the one shooting. He ain't the one popping. He's right, sucker. Right. No, he the smart nigga. Right. Cause he don't want to go down the river. He ain't trying to do that time you about to do, my nigga. That's real shit. You no know, shout out to Young Thug Slime. Love him. Right. But you gotta make smart, righteous moves. Damn. You have to think. When I'm getting money, I'm not beefing with no nigga if I'm getting two hundred and fifty thousand a right, show. What right. a, what can you possibly say to me to make me beef with you, my nigga? I I'm about it. to get on a plane with my team, and we got some broads, and we up right. out of here. Right, that's real. I can't understand right, right. what you're talking about. And most of the people talking shit ain't got shit, ain't doing shit, none of that. Not with no people. What I would do if it was me, I, if it was you, you, ain't, you, you ain't never right. in that it position. It ain't you, though. Ain't gonna never, you ain't never going to be in a position to make that decision. You know what I'm saying? Talking that madness. I, I hear you. But you're but, but you killing that, that two we got. I just put some, I put my movie Slice 1, 2, and 3 over to yeah, me. Yeah, you're going to get I want to see that paper, that guap yeah, guap. Yeah, back end. Yeah, that guap guap. I want to see. Yeah. Support that. Like, you support yeah. this brother right here, man. Yeah, two. Look, here, here, this is what we do. We do a thing called IG Creeping. Okay? IG Creeping? Right. We go on your IG page. Okay. We creep around, see with some pictures. I get my folks, you know, put, and then, and when we put the picture up, I'm gonna question you. I'm gonna ask you, what was you thinking when you, the picture was out? What was the situation? Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's how we do here. We you trademark that. What? what? It's okay. already done, brother. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying I was still. Right, right, I'm right. saying I know. You know, no, other no, niggas no, gonna no, watch this shit and be like, and, hey. we cut, and we cutting that part out, nigga. Right. You talking about trademark and shit? We gonna cut that out, brother. Fuck that. Okay. All right. So let me ask you what you was thinking. Oh, that's P right there. Yeah. What was you thinking right there? Okay. What was what was going on? Oh, damn. Okay. What was happening there? Okay. That's, um, Dirty Gang. What's that, that, a movie? That's, yeah, that's a movie. Yeah, that's one of my, my, my babies right there. Dirty Gang. Shout out to Kente and Good Shooter, my right hand man. Okay, shout out to her. Uh, uh, that's uh, just the extra, man. Ain't, no, ain't never just the extra, not like that's that. That's just the extra. Ain't no just, man. Y'all two just extra. This is no. the main character right no, here. No, to, no, me, nigga, just, to me, nigga. To me, nigga, okay? Okay. Well, yeah. Damn you. Okay, I love, look at that. Well, yeah, that's damn. Dirty Gang. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me ask him. That's Dirty okay, Gang. Dirty man. Gang. All right. Game 2 is on the way, too. Y'all go there check out right Dirty Gang. Tell me I did that camera right there. Tell me I did that right there. Yeah, shout out Dirty Game on Tubi. There it is right Dirty there. Dirty Game 2 is on the way. You always flossing, too, boy. I ain't mad at nah, you. Now, really, you know what? You know who I really was playing right there? Rick Ross? Nah. Oh. I was playing P. Who P? Who P? QC, oh, yeah. P. Oh, oh, wow. Well, okay, wow. Well, yeah, okay. I was putting Damn. a little swag like P be putting okay. on. Okay, okay. I, I feel Shout you now. QC, got, got the chain, P. got the motorcycle chain. I fucked yeah, with that. Yeah, I was putting that P on, really. I like that. Yeah, I yeah. fucked that. All right, let's go to the next picture. Money Mace. Always. What was, oh, come on. What was going on? What you want to hold on? That's me, man. That's me. Nah, that's my cousin. That's my brother. Right here? Yeah, that's my brother Wes, and that's me. No, that's me. Oh. 
Uh, who's this? That's my brother West. Oh, okay, good. Okay. That's my cousin. Okay, and that's right? you. And that's me. He's uh, a young Lord boy. 19 years old. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that's that Lafayette Garden stuff right there, the yeah, photo at the club. Little young, little dumb nigga. This, it, and this go in 79, whatever. What a place that's it's a good Back club. then, man. Hell yeah, look at you, boy. Look at you looking fresh and young still. Yeah, yeah. All right, what yeah. was the next picture right there? What was doing here? What was going on here? Okay, Pastor. Oh, nah, this is, um, dang, what movie I did with this one? Damn. I can't even remember which one this one is. You don't know what it is? Nah, I don't remember would you ever the cut your, Would you ever cut your beard for a role? Uh, I've been asked that, that I know, but I don't do it because of the biggest shit. I don't want you to uh, keep feeling like that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I ain't okay. big. You can, do, you, you can do the freeway story next. I, I, you know, no, I'm just being gravy. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the no, beard. Ain't no nigga invent no beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what the next picture is. Let's see what you got Hold on, what we doing here? What we doing here? That's gravy. That's gravy right there? That's gravy. Yeah, back on my gravy shit. Nice. Being gravy. Money Maker Records. That's, that's, that's your it. record company? That, yeah, that's my guys. Kente, Shooter. That's my people, Atlanta. Did we uh, did we go in the middle of the mall and get this, or where did we get this from? My nah, friend, nah, my nah. friend. Come nah, here, my friend. Nah, nah, we ain't I don't know. I don't know. That. I'm asking. You know, we ain't doing no faking. Oh, okay, okay. You from yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to LaCora, <laughs> shout out to Money Makers, okay. shout out okay. to everything all right. my friend. to okay. do with us. All right. no, no, they right. know what we do. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, all right, all right, that's it. So what we do here also, I got a lot of fun with you, you, man. You take all the good pictures. I thought you was going to come with the hard shit. I ain't pick it, my uh, okay. pick it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we, we do a thing right here. Oh, we want it, some money? Well, no, no, well, kind of. Yeah, you win a prize at the end. This is called spin the wheel. So you spin this wheel, whatever it land on, you got to participate in. It could be like who you want to trade places with and why. Give us, give us a real secret, how you lost your virginity, you know what I'm saying? You remember uh, back then and shit? Oh, shit. Yeah, you got to tell like a two minutes. Um, uh, hit, I hope you land on this. You Celebrity ain't got crush. Fruitcake is on there, no, right? No, 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 hell no. Right. No, I know who you were. Yeah, okay? I ain't going to play so, with so, that. No, so, Celebrity Crush, you know. So what you got to do is, as an actor, pick up the phone and tell us you got one minute to show your Mac and skills to your celebrity crush to have her come to your house or you come to her crib to get some booty. You know what I'm saying? As an actor. I say, and action. How you doing? I could be like Halle Berry. And then let me hear what you say. Let me see what you're about. I don't know. It depends on who it is. I'm talking. It's up to you. It's up to you to make that up. Okay. So if I know. pick that that squid, right, that right. So you pick. Yeah, that's your, you pick your celebrity crush. All right. So you let me roll. Let me see what I'm gonna pick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Would you get some off your chest? The biggest lie you ever told. So you can tell me anything you just said in the last hour. Then you repeat that. The biggest lie. <laughs> I'm fucking with yeah, you, man. You, you slick. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Spin it with that uh with with, with that Brooklyn spin. Go on. So spin, spin it. it. Yeah, oh yeah. Spin it like like a real man. I oh, don't man, what kind of down. shit is that? All I mean, right, I don't want to knock the shit down. All right, where'd it go right there? It says lost. Lost your virginity. All right, man, you got oh, you damn. got a minute to describe to us how you lost your virginity, bro. Damn, you remember I don't that? Know, uh, what? Lost. You remember how you lost it, man? I mean, I ain't really lose. I, uh, what? I mean, what? Turn on to mics, you all right, bro? You're no, I'm just trying to understand how to describe it. Okay, so you just say, I met this girl, I was in seventh grade, and she used to hang, hang around by my house. Nah, it wasn't down like street. that. Nah, it wasn't like that. Okay, well, I was in jail, whatever you guys say. Uh... Yeah, so you remember the girl, should right? Should have had to be. Right, shit, I'm go. trying to go back. Okay, we gotta go. You lost so your virginity. I'm, well, I, I say, quite on the I say, go. I say. How did it go? Give, give us. You got damn. a minute or two to tell us a story. Build that story I mean, up. I don't, I don't know the story, but her name was Mia, Spanish okay. bro. Okay, okay. Um, how old was you around that time? Shit, I was in junior high. Okay, was but 15. I still wasn't fucking yet. Oh, okay, but this is what That's you, what I'm you saying. I was more finger popping than anything oh, else before no, I did. Dial the number we go around and then we smell right, fingers. Right, 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 right. That when was the you put the wee wee, time. You, the time you put the wee wee in for the first time. Oh man, I, I'm trying to remember who that would be. Oh, shit, like, about like four years ago. Nah, nigga, oh, I'm 48, man. That's what I said, four Looking years ago. Looking like 28. <laughs> okay, now, all right, now. <laughs> but uh, come on, give us that uh, story, man. I don't shit, man. You Damn, you me? don't remember the, the first joint? My first joint? Yeah. I don't have well, you're like, oh, shit, I'm in something. Oh, shit, feel no, different in my I hand. I had a lot of things, yeah. you know, nigga. You remember, well, uh, give me the second one, the third. Give me the best one you had when you was young. Damn. Who I fell in love with. Okay, there it is. What, oh, talk that, to me. That was Mia. That would oh. have to be Mia. With the finger popping. Yeah, that You had finally to put, be the, put the, the PP went in, and finally, right? Yeah, yeah, I did do oh, that. Okay, but okay. I can't remember the actual time oh, of doing it, where oh, I was at. Oh, okay. That's a long time. Boy, you, no, you, yeah, you put that work in, that's a problem. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember my first time. Work. I ain't get my. I mean. Yeah, my babysitter. Oh, oh yeah, man, yeah, you yeah, beast. That. You I a beast. That nigga, yeah. yeah, you a beast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't on that she type of time. I was scared as hell. But I'm, no, I wasn't scared. I was. No, nah, I wasn't scared. I saw that bush. I was like, ooh. I had some fun. 
Did you? Oh, yeah, no, you had to be fun. around that. T- yeah, you know, I can't go too far back. Okay, all right, all right. Let well, me spin it one more time or something. Oh, this is my, yeah, this is my, I'm going to play some games and shit. I'm like, that uh-huh. done. Oh, yeah, let me spin it on something else, like yeah. win, win some money or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well you're, you're the wrong show for the money. <laughs> okay. you, you, you win another spin. This shit yeah, look this like show. prices, right? Right, that's what it is. Well, all okay, right, the so price is wrong on this bitch. Here we go. Spin that bitch. Let's see, man. Pandemic money. Trading places, who you trade places with and why? Somebody you trade, and give me a good reason why you would trade places with this person. What would you do differently? Or whatever you would do with that person. All right. Nah, I don't, I don't know about trading places with nobody, but um, Jay? Just, just playing, nah, man, just playing, just playing big alone was good for me, dog. Okay. So, you okay. know what I mean? I'm not trying to trade no places, but that's good enough for Damn. me. Yeah, that's, that, that's real shit. You too New York for the show. Just for the wheel Brooklyn. and shit, nigga. Oh, There's a little Brooklyn. Yeah, hey, I know. Too much Brooklyn, nigga. Yeah, it's a little love. Who would I, I trade places? I would trade places. Let me tell you. I don't know why I trade places. I like me, man. Yeah. I, love I know me, Byron man. Long. Byron Long? The yeah. porno nigga? Hell yeah, nigga. He's oh, banging backs out all the time. Oh, man. Man, you fine little girls coming nah, in. I ain't trying to see you oh, do that. Oh, man. man. You ain't got to look at me. Yeah, you got to yeah, even look at you right now. Hell no. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that, man. Don't do me like that. You good as you be. And you know what I'm about? Niggas always be talking about. You know, I, I, I'm like, you know, the, the porn, if it just be a porn, I'm like, that nigga got a big dick. Yeah. I don't see big. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no way you can't see a dick on a porno. Hold on, hold on. You, when you, have you watched a porno before? We not doing oh, all man, that. Oh, man, this is, you on some bullshit, man. Let me come, turn this yeah. off, man. I got to edit all this <laughs> shit out, man. Yeah, edit yeah, you, yeah, you don't. <laughs> You done seen the goddamn porn. Yeah, Have you ever seen a porn before? I seen plenty okay, of Okay, okay, well then you seen some shit before. Yeah, well I ain't, you know. You can't just erase a motherfucking dick in your face and shit. Oh, no, I ain't, see, I ain't never had no dick in my <laughs> face. I, I, I ain't mean like that, I mean on the screen. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I ain't even had it on the screen. Yeah, oh, come on. Nah, come wait, on, you son. Know, come on. I, I ain't saying you're gay, none of that shit with nah, you, bro. I'm just saying, we ain't never had no dick in the do. face, no oh, dick on the man, screen. Come on. None of that. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that, homie. All right, all right. Uh, well, I don't know how you watch the motherfucker, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you, you watch know, it, but I'm you just watch it. I'm too busy watching her. Right, really? Okay. Right. Doing what? Okay. Right. She, oh, Taking man. that pipe. You know <laughs> Whoa, that pipe. You see what I'm yeah. talking about? You see what you're talking about? Yeah. Man, you a fucking wild dude, boy. You a wild motherfucker. I see why they call you gravy. You lumpy, motherfucker, yeah. for real. It's a bullshit. Yeah, you want here's, a, here's a little gift bag we give, a little swag, man. What Black you, Friday. You see what you want. You want a gift bag. Look at all that. Oh, yeah, man, we're going to give you everything oh, all the time. Look. Let's look at it. Pull it out. Let's oh, look at it. Let's talk about it. Oh, shit. Yeah, all kind of goodies in my show. Oh, shit. you got some good shit. Yeah, man. pull oh, that motherfucker. Don't be afraid to look at it. I see. Rock. Yeah, yeah. Pull that. What we got there? Let me God see. What the first thing you pulling out right there? What Dope ass cup for some coffee. Come on, man. Look, look at the pot title of that thing. That thing yeah, said, what? Coffee got you my name official. on it? No, I had mine, though. It's Why well, I got to drink your cup? Well, see, right there you go. You too Brooklyn, my buddy. Right, all right, all right. cool. We know. I'm going to put that. You, 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 you drink that, Walmart I'm gonna, I'm gonna cup that, and shit. Listen, I'm going to put that in the man cave. All so right, appreciate hard, that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. you. Thank you, bro. You understand me? I'm going to get some knowledge. Let me see. It's a book right there. What I'm learning. What that book say? My 100 homies and phonies. Of what? Of Hollywood. Ooh, of oh, Hollywood. shit. You talking about a lot of what? Oh, shit. You in part two. This is like a superhead book. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, well, okay. Well, no, no. <laughs> it ain't that part. It ain't yeah. just people I met. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know, people we I rocking met. with that. What yeah, we got okay, here? Yeah, okay, okay. What else we got there? We got gifts, man. That's a card game. You start playing Uno, you can play that. It has all like black celebrity yeah, you know, comedy so. stuff, oh, movies, yeah, this stuff fire. like that. Yeah, it's you, fire. You know, yeah, you get your friends around the room. Yeah, you know. Do the shit. What we got that's a, here? That's a, that's a, pull that's a do rag right there. It's a rag or anything you want to use. Colorful as hell, man. Yeah, it's this it's, it's right here logo right here. My logo. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, for, if you got a woman, she, she got nappy dreads or nappy head. Throw, give her that uh, damn do rag. I'm gonna put this on the wall. Okay, I like that. Okay, I got that okay. in the wall in the crib. What we got right there? We, oh, we got a shirt too. Oh, we got a t-shirt. I don't know what size you wear, man. What size you wear? I'm a two X. Damn, I got you a three X, man. My bad. No, this can fit. They can fit. Put hot yeah. water on it. Shrink. This will work. The words will fall off too. And this is all. Evil. And I'm a rock. Yeah, this. yeah. It's black. Hey, red, black, and green. Yeah, I'm a rock. Damn, this gang. I appreciate yeah, all man. that type of love. Nah, bro. man. I appreciate you coming, brother. For man, real, listen, dude. Man, anytime. Hey, man. Out of some real respect, man. Where you, where you came from and how you rolling still, man. You keeping it one. You keeping the bean, as people say out there. That's the it, man. Keeping the bean. Keep yeah. God first. There it is. There it is, man. Right see, you ain't nothing without God. I know that's right, man. But Look, on some real shit, tell your friends and your fans on that camera right here where they can reach you at and meet you at and keep hitting you, you up. You can on. reach me at Jamal Gravy Willard on Facebook, on Instagram. There you go. I don't know about the thread and all that yet. I ain't on it yet, you know, but. <laughs> right, you right. Know, if you care, you know, press button. There it is, man. It's what it
Hey. You will get to that hundred. You can get that hundred films on Tubi. Trust it. me. I'm gonna get it. Trust me. Promise you. I'm gonna fuck around and direct you in something, man. Come on. Yeah, what you wanna yeah, do? Yeah. We funny together. Hell yeah. Not together though. Well, there we go. We get pause. Yeah. 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 Kids be saying pause every yeah, five yeah. minutes. Pause. Well, not together. Mm -mm. But together. Well, you know what? When you know what type of man you are, you ain't gotta say pause. You know what yeah, the fuck you ain't gotta say that, but you was real descriptive nah, with it. Well, I just told you, you said a pipe. You said a girl pipe. Like, Yo. What? Stick all in your face. Well, no, I saw my. I'm like, what you mean? You talking about laying the pipe? You see the laying the pipe and all that? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm just saying. Don't act like you don't see shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too real. You too. You 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 too. You too New York. You too New York, right. man. Relax with it, down. man. Yo, man, I had a great time with my man Jamal Gravy. I appreciate you, uh, uh, Wooder, man. Dog. Thank you so much, brother. Y'all, y'all, another great episode, man. Pierre's yeah. Panic Room. Thank y'all for, for watching it, man. I enjoyed myself with the brother. Check him out, man. Support him. Go to Tubi. He's on everything in Tubi. Yeah. Us. Uh, there you go. We got my move slice one, two, and three. He got Shoo. thousands of them. Yeah. Check it out. Again, man. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget to hit that notification bell or the subscription button. Bam. Hit that for me, y'all. And uh, we'll see you on another show next week, y'all. What's up, what's up, world? Jamal Willow, a.k.a. Mr. Blu-ray Gravy, baby. And right now, I survived P.S. Panic Run. For real. Yeah. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it. <laughs>